A broke dig is really the best dig. I think because they've honed their craft. Because they don't have to go to work during the day. Wow. So they know how to fuck at night. Wow. You might be onto something. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Aida Osman. I play Shauna Clark on Rap Shit on HBO Max. What's T? I'm Chameleon and I play Mia Knight on Rap Shit on HBO Max. We're on the same show, bitch. Shout out Issa Rae. Wrote a great pilot that had Seduce and Scheme as one of Mia's catchphrases in the show. The characters are, are really like a balance of like the type of girls in Miami, like everybody just ain't ghetto all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shauna's really, you know, a smart girl, you know, with her head on straight, you know, she might be a little crazy, but <laughs> you know, like, and then you have Mia who's like, you know, from the hood and you know, like a real. runaway girl, real. yeah, real. Yeah. And also the, the track comes from the K-Wang instrumental, which you'll find out in the show has a special history with Shauna and Mia. I'ma spend his cream seduce and scheme. I'ma spin ah. his cream. Yup, put his face in that crap ah. like fiends. Eat it. Put an arch in your back, then lead. Beat it. I'ma show you how to run these schemes. So like seducing and scheming is really just about self-empowerment. Like showing girls how to really come up in the world. You know, sometimes it can't be by the book. Like no. you gotta do what you gotta do. You Bitch, I don't saying? have time to teach niggas. Yeah. Just open your purse, sir. Open your purse. <laughs> I don't yeah. have time. I don't. Yeah. I really don't. I'm not about to be out here looking stupid, trying to make you a better nigga. Yeah. Go listen to Kendrick. Go figure it out. Because sometimes they don't deserve our time. You know what I'm saying? That's just, I don't have time to waste. So they just don't. give me what you got and let's go. You don't drink water, sir. Say my name in it. I, I, go insane in it. I, I, Say this pussy too wild. No, tame in it. I like <laughs> If you ain't got change, if you do, then I'm straight, straight to, to the, the bank with it. it. Me as sure. baby daddy don't got no change. He's an up and so coming really producer. Yeah, He's really, working it out. Yeah, so I really can't take him to the bank. You know what I'm saying? But if I come upon somebody that I can, best believe, we're going straight to the bank because I know you don't love me. I know you don't want to be in a relationship with me. You just want to waste my time. So I'm going to make you pay to waste my motherfucking time because yeah. time is money. And that's how Mia, that's how Mia lives her life. I can't say the same for Shauna, but that's okay. It's a character arc. She's got somewhere to go. Miss Double D's I direct deposit. I need it now. Put respect on my shit. All Shauna wants is niggas to listen to her music. And nobody's fucking doing it at all. She's a smart girl. She's a conscious rapper. She loves the Lauren Hills. She loves Queen Latifah. She be in there, you and I, T-Y. She loves that shit. But that's not working for her. And that has a lot to do with the audience. It has a lot to do with Shauna. It has a lot to do with the state of rap right now. But she just dead ass wants people to listen. So she going to do what she needs to do to make people listen. Landlord pussy, I collect the profit. Bad bitch living rent free in his pockets. I actually wrote that bar. That's one of the very few bars in the whole verse that I wrote. Um, landlord pussy, you know, when you let a nigga come over and be in it, he's briefly a tenant in your body. And you collect the profit because we're not fucking for free no more. It's 2022. Pussy is... Uh, Text. That's what I'm trying to say. Body valid. I can't take no bad pick. Got the keys from that nigga like Khaled. Wildcat. He like me cause I'm ratchet. Take a nigga's soul, put his body in a casket. Thomas Money Baby skip the foreplay. He a felon, beat it like a cold case. Bad boys always, come on, give me that little, that little tattoo right here and show me that you killed someone. What's wrong with me? I don't know, I don't know. I'm also over it now. I'm too grown. I'm about to be 25. And all these niggas ducking Ricos, ducking gun charges. I can't do it no more. You need to serve this pussy, not time. Okay, you need to serve this pussy. <laughs> Please, come home. I miss you. Lot of attitude, pretty face with no waist. Ghetto, but I'm flying, man. I call that so plain. Never seen so plain, never seen baby boy. I stand in it. I'm working my way through it. Nigga, I was born in 97. Y'all shut the fuck up. I'm making my way through it. I'm making my way through it. I've seen Friday. I've seen The Wood. I've seen so many movies that had nothing to do with my generation and I'm still trying to get on it. But until then, it's going to go in my rap lyrics and y'all going to shut the fuck up and listen to it. That's it. Sorry. Don't know why I got so mad. It's clearly a sensitive topic for me. It's head only. Why your shirt off? Fucking in the whip. 
skirt off. I like how in that first line it starts off like, nigga, you doing too much. And then the next line, we in the whip. We fucking in the whip. Skirt off. Which is a homophone. Is it a homophone? Yeah, yeah, I have an English degree. We already established that. Now he's saying I'm a dick because I curbed y'all. But if I want a nigga, bitch, I'll make a bird call. <laughs> and the nigga come running. There's something really empowering to the moment where you like, okay, I don't have to fuck every nigga that wants to fuck me. And that's just growing up. That's just growing up. There's a selection process. You get to be choosy now. You get to be choosy, girl. And I think Shauna learns that in her story. Like she realizes she actually is attractive and she's not just this weird nerdy girl. Like she got titties too, you know? So that's that's a huge part of her journey. Classy, I'm a real bitch, but I'm nasty. Ride the dick good, then I ask for the cash. Camille can really ride for real. Bars, metaphors for days, still make you swerve, shake that ass. Mia, she got a ghost writer, which is her friend Shauna. She's just learning how to write actual bars and cadences and, and things of that nature. Um, but it's still fun. Ashley, y'all got bank. And do you think I give a fuck what you think? Yeah, Mia don't give a fuck. Mia don't, Mia don't care about what people think about her. Especially, you know, she got her only fans popping. Only thing she care about is making a living and making sure that her baby's straight. And I know you heard of E Block. Got me repping D Block. Better have my money because my daddy pack a mean Glock. Mia's dad was real gangster. You know, he was a, a, a street nigga and he had to do what he had to do to get his respect. And like, Mia's gangster is her only fans. You know, that's going against the traditional ways of, you know, getting her bread, but it also gained respect because she didn't give a damn what people thought about her. Like she was about doing what she needed to do to like, you know, make a good life for her daughter. Broke nigga, please. If you ain't got what I need, tell them real niggas slide, cause them broke niggas weak. I feel like if any man is like messing with a, a girl that has a child, you gotta come correct or don't come at all. You know, and she really don't have no time to be wasting. So it's like, if you ain't got, you know, the things that are the things that are the things that are the things that are the things that I need, like slide. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, tell them what, what the real niggas at. You know, what the niggas with the bag that ain't scared that, you know, it ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> to add to that, like, it's really like, fuck these niggas, I got my girl. My girl got me, I got her back. And I just think that's so cute because it's it's hard to find like best friends in life, especially usually when you go through something with like a person that you call your friend, y'all end up not being friends no more. You know what I'm saying? But we done already went through our dirt and we back together again. You know what I'm saying? Chilling and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, fuck these niggas. I got my girl. Then it became this like amalgamation. Gumbo. There we go. That's a better word for it. It became a gumbo, a stew, a jambalaya of Crab sorts. Yep. Let's just name food for the rest of this. Potatoes. Mm-hmm. Broccolini. You eat broccoli, y'all? Not Sorry. a pot. Sorry, Dr. Sebi. Uh -huh. We don't eat broccoli. <laughs> Dr. Sebi, he did. Well, I love Dr. Sebi. And that's how the song came to be. 